Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, it's the return of ASMR Wokey, because I'm trying to not wake up the person sleeping right next to me. So, yeah, that's gonna be today's video. We're gonna go over Sasanka. But if you wanted a longer video, because this one's going to be, you know, kind of short, um, I did another video where I did Texas speech to speak. So, if you prefer one over the other, let me know. So, let's get into it. Sasanka, um, I'm glad that they are starting to mana spiral units from New Year's. I really think that um, it's only a matter of time before they start to do more. I know Yasu already has one, um, but they really need to start doing more because <laughs> it's not enough to just do one of them. In general, I think a lot more of the limited should be getting their mana spiral, but neither here nor there. Let's go into it for Sasanka. So, uh, this is Dancing Blossoms. It's a shareable 7. Deals damage to surrounding enemies and draws them towards the user and inflicts bleeding and shadow blade. These, this is the specific stats. I'm not gonna say what they do, but you can see it right here. Pretty basic stuff. Blooming Cradle. Increases the user's max HP for the remainder of the quest. Increases their strength and activates Slumber Strike Stance. During Slumber Strike Stance, the user's four strikes will deal extra damage. Inflict sleep and dispel one buff from each target. Skill energy required 6,400. And uh, HP 10%, strength 30%. Slumber Charges Stance charges 3. Go Ability Defense 15%. Chain goal ability, shadow, HP 9%. Abilities. Speeds the rate of the mode gauge decreased by 35%. After using the Blooming Cradle, will grant the user a strength map of a maximum team map level of 2. After after this is not granted again for 30 seconds. Potent Paralysis resistance 100%. Sleeping, Bleeding, and Shadow Blade Punisher 1. Increases damage to sleeping enemies by 25%, bleeding enemies by 50%, and shadow blinded enemies by 15%. And that is the spiral. Um, I think this is a really good spiral. They did a lot to her. She is an older unit, so she needed more. Um, the ability to inflict bleed, shadow blight, sleep, and also dispelling is great. Um, obviously sleep by itself is not the greatest, but... It occasionally sometimes works, and that's enough for me, honestly. Um, it's better It's it's better when it's not your main focus. Like, there's some units who have sleep as their main focus, and they're just not very good. But having it as, like, a side focus is a thing that might happen. It's better than having a full, kind of, like, kit built around it, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I digress. She does a lot for Shadow, for sure. Um... It seems like a lot of shadow units always get this kind of treatment where they just do a buttload of stuff at once and uh, that's what Sasanka's gotten here so I think she's really good I'm not sure if she's good enough to use on the site I think it's likely if you're a big fan of uh, Sasanka obviously then she's really good and good enough to use on the site for so it's something you can definitely do um, I think I'm gonna be holding on a little bit just because I'm not sure myself and I have plenty of shadow units. Like if you don't have a lot of amazing shadow units, I think it's kind of like a no, not a no joke, it's a no brainer to kind of give her the Omnicide and kind of go, uh, go in on her. Cause she'll be very useful for Cayenne and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, really well done Mana Spiral. I think ever since they created Omnisite, I think they've been doing a little bit better by the Mana Spirals. Making them just a little bit better, which I think is nice. Because now that, yeah, now that they're a little bit better, they can justify using Omnisite on and stuff like that. But I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, that's hers. Tell me what you think about her. Um, and that's the end of today's video. Reminder, if you didn't like this ASMR style video, you should go to the one with text to speech. It's a little bit slower, but it has a little bit more thoughts and stuff like that. But I'm done. I don't want to risk waking them up anymore. So goodbye, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.